Pashinyan uh, role. And uh, uh, me personally, I also believe that the person with the liberal approach towards uh, the future of the country and its uh, development, its European uh, role. Uh, and I thought that probably he, he, he might also break some ISIS in the in the peaceful resolution of the conflict. But immediately after Pashinyan started reforms of the fighting with corruption uh, and, you know, uh, trying to uh, counter all opposition inside, he, he faced enormous pressure from the previous Karabakhi clan, which was in power in Armenia uh, for over 20 years. And he arrested um, Kocharan, which was a very influential Karabakhi clan leader. Uh, he squeezed some other um, uh, uh, Karabakhi clan members like Sarkisyan family. And to prove to uh, Karabakhis that he can be also, you know, strong man for Karabakhis, he overplayed this card. He started to sh to um, to go more frequently than uh, his previous predecessors to Karabakh. He sent, uh, as I said, he sent his son. He he was posing all the time. We, we were seeing Pashinyan more in Karabakh than in Yerevan. Well, he overplayed this role. He wanted to prove to Armenians that he is he is not Karabakhi. He is not from that old clan, but he can be. He can better guarantee their security, and he failed in that. Probably he understands, and many, many others understand. Armenia found itself in isolation, uh, I would say, that they were expecting that uh, all the world will support Armenia because they are Christian nation, they are old nation. They, they, they say that all the time, that they, there is a fight between Christianity and Islam. It doesn't fly. It doesn't fly. They cannot they cannot convince this because uh, uh, everyone knows that uh, the biggest, uh, one of the biggest allies of Azerbaijan in the region is Israel. For example, we, um, uh, uh, in fact, uh, our superiority in the uh, military field is thanks to Israeli technology and Israeli weapons. The, uh, while Armenia is a strong ally of the Shia Iran. Um, uh, uh, and we see Russia tries to be uh, at least to, to be neutral. We see Europeans uh, are very careful because, you know, uh, international law is on the side of Azerbaijan. Uh, we, if you have, if you would follow Pashinyan uh, interviews to BBC, to Hard Talks, he always goes, uh, makes reference on ancient history. He goes to Tigran II, who was born 150 years before Jesus Christ, and saying that Armenia has a right for Karabakh because during the Tigran II rule, uh, 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 Karabakh was part of Greater Armenia, which was going from the Mediterranean to the uh, to the Caspian. Uh, also, he go he makes reference to Herodotus, ancient. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Greek, um, uh, you know, historians. Um, and and uh, the interviewers say that, Mr. Prime Minister, there is international law. We live in the 21st century. There are in, uh, UN resolutions. There are principles of territorial integrity. These territories are recognized internationally, globally, as a part of Azerbaijan. And now you you go and say about uh, Tigran the second or or Herodotus historian. You know we we live in the uh, modern world where international law is very key. Even uh, I have seen a small video on this. Uh, very interesting. I don't know who did it. It is like uh, you have the house. It, it is like like you have the house. Everyone recognizes that this house belongs to you. All the papers, uh, legal papers, say that this is your property. You have uh, ju ju uh, judicial proof, all the seals, that this is your. Uh, you have small uh, rooms for 
neighbors. You say that, please come and we will live together. But one day, your neighbor who, who was near, he says, no, 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 uh, oust you out of here and says that it's mine without any, any proof, you know, without any paper. And, and, and we have been out of our home for 27 years. Uh, and now uh, that's why Armenia tries to knock the doors. Pashinyan makes telephone calls to world leaders, but probably they say that, oh, we are sorry, we we're telling you that we have that you have to go to peace talks and liberate territories. Recently, just two, two three months ago, uh, Lavrov mentioned that uh, uh, Armenia should start at least liberating three three regions of Azerbaijan, not seven. And immediately, Foreign Minister of Armenia, Zohrab, um, Mr. Kian said that no, 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 we cannot liberate even three regions because uh, because this is our security, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, belt. Why? And uh, if Armenia would liberate even three, five regions, there would be international guarantees, and nobody would start the war because now nobody wants to say. Everyone says that to Pashinyan that we are sorry. This is internationally recognized borders of Azerbaijan. Even Armenia doesn't recognize Karabakh as, as, uh, as independent or as a republic. They say it, but it's not recognized. And now Armenia put itself in very difficulty. 